Chapter 1 Awakening to Action Introduction Welcome to the journey of transforming your life by stepping out of your comfort zone. This chapter serves as the foundation for the powerful shift you're about to experience. Here, we'll uncover the critical importance of moving beyond comfort, understanding the forces that keep us tethered to the familiar, and recognizing the vast potential that lies in embracing challenge and change. The Comfort Zone a silent growth inhibitor. The comfort zone, a behavioral space where your activities and behaviors fit a routine and pattern that minimizes stress and risk, provides a state of mental security. While seemingly safe, the comfort zone is a deceptive trap that can lead to stagnation and missed opportunities for growth and success. Why do we stay in our comfort zones? The reasons are primarily psychological. Humans naturally gravitate towards comfort to avoid the anxiety associated with the unknown. This inherent desire for security, however, can be a significant barrier to personal and professional development. The Lure of the Comfortable Living Within the confines of a comfort zone means living on autopilot, performing tasks and making decisions without significant thought. While this reduces stress in the short term, it caps your potential in the long run. The comfort zone limits your ability to learn new skills, stifles creativity, and prevents you from facing and overcoming challenges that are essential for growth. Consider the story of Emma, a talented graphic designer who avoided public speaking because it made her anxious. By staying in her comfort zone, she missed opportunities to present her ideas, potentially leading to promotions and recognition. Emma represents many of us who, despite having great potential, choose the path of least resistance. The Costs of Staying Put The consequences of remaining in your comfort zone are vast. Missed opportunities. When you don't venture out, you miss out on professional opportunities, personal relationships, and the chance to learn about yourself and the world. Diminished Self-Confidence Avoiding challenges can lead to a decrease in self-confidence, as you never test and expand your abilities. Slowed Personal Growth Personal growth is often the result of overcoming obstacles. Without challenges, there's less motivation to improve or adapt. Breaking free. Understanding the need for change. Recognizing the need to leave your comfort zone is the first step towards meaningful change. It involves a deep understanding that the real magic happens outside of this zone. Life becomes richer, more vibrant, and more fulfilling when you dare to extend beyond the familiar. Breaking free requires courage and a willingness to face the discomfort associated with new experiences. It is about making a conscious decision to choose growth over comfort, to choose adventure over security. Strategies for Escaping the Comfort Zone Here are some strategies to help you start stepping out of your comfort zone. Small Steps Begin with small changes that challenge your routine. This could be as simple as taking a different route to work or trying a new restaurant. Set goals. Define clear, achievable goals that push your boundaries. The satisfaction of achieving these goals will motivate further exploration outside your comfort zone. Seek new experiences. Actively seek situations where learning and adaptation are required. This could mean taking up a new hobby, learning a new language, or traveling to unfamiliar places. Embrace failure. View failures as stepping stones to success. Each failure provides valuable lessons that are integral to personal growth. Build a support network. Surround yourself with people who encourage and support your growth. A supportive community can be a powerful motivator in your journey out of comfort. Chapter 2. Embracing the Discomfort As we step beyond the initial threshold of willingness to escape the comfort zone, it's crucial to understand and embrace the discomfort that comes with it. This discomfort, often felt as fear or anxiety, is not an enemy, but a guide towards personal empowerment and growth. Discomfort, the growth signal. When you experience discomfort, your natural inclination might be to retreat back to safety. However, it's essential to recognize discomfort as a signal that you are on the verge of something significant, growth. It indicates that you are pushing the limits of what you know and venturing into the learning zone. Think about the first time you tried to ride a bike. The initial wobbles and falls weren't just obstacles. They were part of the process of acquiring a new skill. 
The discomfort was a necessary component of mastering balance and coordination. Similarly, every new challenge you take on will involve its own form of discomfort, signaling that you are expanding your capabilities. Reframing your perspective on fear. Fear is often the primary component of discomfort that holds us back. To step out of your comfort zone consistently, begin by reframing how you view fear. Instead of seeing fear as a stop sign, view it as a marker that says, something important lies beyond this point. One effective way to reframe your perspective is through positive visualization. Instead of imagining the worst case scenario, visualize the best outcomes of taking a certain action. What could you achieve if everything went right? This shift in focus can dramatically reduce the feeling of fear and replace it with a sense of excitement about potential opportunities. Practical Steps to Handle Discomfort Here are practical steps to embrace and manage the discomfort of leaving your comfort zone. 1. Identify your discomfort triggers. Understand what specifically triggers your discomfort. Is it the fear of failure, rejection, or perhaps the unknown? Pinpointing the exact source makes it easier to address and overcome it. 2. Gradual exposure. Gradually expose yourself to these triggers. If public speaking terrifies you, start by speaking in front of a mirror, progress to small groups, and then larger audiences. Each step builds confidence and reduces the original fear. 3. Develop coping strategies. Develop coping mechanisms that work for you. This could be deep breathing, meditation, or discussing your feelings with a trusted friend. These strategies can help manage anxiety levels and make the process more manageable. 4. Celebrate small wins. Each time you face your discomfort and come out the other side, celebrate it. These small victories are incredibly important in building the momentum needed for larger challenges. Transforming discomfort into drive. As you continue to challenge yourself, the discomfort that once seemed like a barrier will transform into a source of motivation and energy. Each encounter with discomfort equips you with better tools to handle future challenges, turning a once daunting feeling into a signpost for growth. By embracing discomfort, you not only enhance your personal and professional life, but also gain a more profound sense of self-awareness and confidence. The act of stepping into the unknown, despite feeling uncomfortable, is a powerful testament to your resilience and commitment to personal growth. The path out of the comfort zone is not about avoiding discomfort, but learning to thrive within it. As you become more accustomed to this process, you'll find that what once seemed uncomfortable becomes your new comfort zone, setting the stage for further growth and achievement. Chapter 3. Cultivating Resilience In the pursuit of stepping out of your comfort zone, Resilience becomes a key player. It's the inner strength that fuels you to persist despite setbacks and challenges. Building resilience isn't just about bouncing back. It's about growing stronger through adversity and emerging more capable than before. The Essence of Resilience Resilience is often mistaken for mere endurance or toughness, but it encompasses much more. It involves emotional intelligence, self-awareness, and an unwavering commitment to personal growth. Resilient individuals don't just endure tough times, they use these experiences as catalysts for self-improvement and learning. The Role of Emotional Intelligence A core component of resilience is emotional intelligence, the ability to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions, and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically. Developing emotional intelligence involves understanding your emotional triggers and learning how to manage them effectively. This skill allows you to navigate the highs and lows of stepping out of your comfort zone with grace and composure. Self-awareness and growth Self-awareness is another critical element. It means being cognizant of your strengths, weaknesses, thought processes, and emotional responses. This awareness helps you pinpoint areas for improvement and guides your decisions in challenging situations. By understanding yourself better, you can tailor your approach to challenges, making sure that your actions align with your long-term goals. Strategies to Build Resilience To cultivate resilience, consider integrating the following strategies into your daily life. 1. Mindset Shift Adopt a growth mindset, 
the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed with time and effort. This perspective encourages you to view challenges as opportunities to learn rather than obstacles to avoid. 2. Stress Management Techniques Effective stress management is crucial. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, yoga, or even regular physical exercise can help reduce stress and increase mental clarity, making you more resilient in the face of challenges. 3. Establish routine. A consistent routine can provide stability during times of change. When everything else is in flux, having a stable routine can serve as a comforting reference point that helps maintain focus and productivity. 4. Foster positive relationships. Building strong, supportive relationships is essential. Surround yourself with people who encourage and inspire you, and avoid those who drain your energy. A supportive network can provide guidance, feedback, and the emotional support needed to persevere. 5. Learn from setbacks. Instead of letting failures discourage you, analyze them to understand what went wrong and how you can avoid similar mistakes in the future. This learning process is invaluable and turns each setback into a stepping stone towards success. Real-life application of resilience. Imagine you're tasked with a project that requires skills you haven't mastered yet. Instead of fearing this challenge, a resilient person would take proactive steps to learn these skills, seek advice from more experienced colleagues, and view the project as a chance to grow. Even if the project doesn't go perfectly, the experience gained is a victory in itself. Remember. Resilience isn't inherent. It's built through experiences. Each time you step out of your comfort zone and face your fears, you're not just surviving. You're learning, growing, and becoming more resilient. This process turns the once daunting act of facing new challenges into a source of strength and confidence. Let's continue to build on this resilience as we move forward. When you're ready to explore more deeply how to harness your inner strength and turn challenges into triumphs, let me know and we'll embark on the next chapter together. Chapter 4. Harnessing the Power of Visualization Visualizing success is a potent tool in the arsenal of anyone aiming to leave their comfort zone. It involves vividly imagining achieving your goals and experiencing the emotions associated with your success. This technique doesn't just prepare you mentally for the path ahead, but actively programs your brain to recognize and pursue pathways to success. The Science Behind Visualization Visualization isn't just a motivational trick. It's grounded in science. The brain's region involved in intention and action is activated when you visualize yourself performing a task. This process, known as motor rehearsal, has been shown to improve performance in athletes, musicians, and business professionals alike. When you imagine yourself succeeding, you lay down neural tracks, the same tracks that would be laid down through actual physical practice. Creating a vivid mental image. The effectiveness of visualization largely depends on the vividness of the mental imagery. The more detailed your visualization, the more effective it will be. Imagine not just the outcome, but the steps leading to that outcome, including the sensations, emotions, and specific details of the environment. Here's how to refine your visualization technique. Set aside quiet time. Choose a quiet spot where you won't be disturbed. This practice requires full concentration and should be done without external distractions. Relax your body and mind. Start with deep breathing exercises or meditation to relax your mind and body. A relaxed state enhances your ability to focus and strengthens the impact of your visualization. Envision the goal. Clearly define what success looks like. Start with the end in mind and work backward, imagining every step in detail. Incorporate all senses. Make your visualization as vivid and detailed as possible. Include all your senses. What do you see, hear, feel, and maybe even smell when you achieve your goal? Feel the emotions. Connect emotionally with your vision. Feel the joy, confidence, and satisfaction that comes with achieving your goal. Applying Visualization in Everyday Challenges Let's say you're preparing for an important presentation. Begin by visualizing the venue filled with attendees. See yourself walking confidently onto the stage. Hear your voice clearly projecting through the room. Feel the clicker in your hand and see the positive reactions of your audience. 
experience the applause at the end and the sense of achievement that follows. This mental rehearsal primes you for performance and enhances your real-world execution of the task. Overcoming Obstacles with Visualization Visualization also plays a crucial role in overcoming obstacles. Imagine facing potential challenges during your pursuit and see yourself handling them calmly and effectively. This not only prepares you for these challenges, but also reduces anxiety and increases your confidence that you can manage whatever comes your way. The more regularly you practice visualization, the more second nature it becomes. Your brain starts to recognize these imagined scenarios as real possibilities, enhancing your motivation and the likelihood of taking proactive steps towards your goals. Remember, visualization is not about daydreaming passively. It's an active, deliberate practice that aligns your subconscious with your conscious goals, making you more likely to act in ways that drive results. This powerful tool equips you with the resilience to face challenges head-on and to seize opportunities as they arise, ultimately guiding you to your desired outcomes. As we build on these techniques, you will find yourself more prepared, confident, and driven in the face of new challenges. Let me know when you're ready to further enhance these skills, and we'll proceed to deepen our understanding and application of transformative strategies in the next chapter. Chapter 5. Cultivating a Network of Growth Building a supportive network is vital for anyone stepping outside their comfort zone. A network of growth-oriented individuals can provide not only encouragement and insight, but also accountability and inspiration. This chapter focuses on how to cultivate such a network effectively and why it is crucial for sustained personal and professional growth. Understanding the importance of a supportive network. A robust support system can significantly amplify your resilience and ability to handle stress and uncertainty. The people around you can offer different perspectives and wisdom, especially when you face challenges that seem insurmountable alone. They can also push you towards opportunities you might not have pursued on your own. Different roles within your network mentors. Experienced individuals who can guide you, offer advice, and help you navigate complex situations. They are invaluable for their wisdom and the doors they can open. Peers. Equals who are also seeking growth. They can relate to your struggles and successes, providing mutual support and accountability. Protégés. Less experienced individuals whom you mentor. Teaching others can reinforce your own understanding and commitment to your goals. Building your network intentionally. Creating a growth-oriented network requires intentional effort. It's not about collecting contacts, but about nurturing meaningful relationships. Here's how to start. 1. Identify what you need. Reflect on your current challenges and long-term goals. What kind of support do you need? Do you need mentors, peers, or a combination of both? Understanding your needs helps you seek out the right people. 2. Attend industry events, conferences, workshops, and seminars are excellent places to meet people who share your interests. These venues allow you to connect with potential mentors and peers who can add value to your professional life. 3. Join relevant groups and clubs. Whether online or in person, groups and clubs that focus on your areas of interest can be beneficial. Participating actively can help you forge deeper connections. 4. Leverage social media platforms like LinkedIn, Twitter, and industry-specific forums can be powerful tools for connecting with like-minded individuals. Engage genuinely with content related to your field, and don't hesitate to reach out with thoughtful questions or comments. 5. Offer value. Networking is a two-way street. Think about how you can add value to others' lives before considering what they can do for you. This could be through sharing information, providing feedback, or offering your skills where needed. Nurturing relationships over time. Once you establish connections, it's crucial to keep them active. Regular check-ins, sharing relevant information or articles, and congratulating them on their achievements are simple ways to keep in touch. Always express gratitude when others offer you their time or advice. Such gestures make the relationship stronger and more reciprocal. The power of diverse perspectives. Encourage diversity within your network. Interacting with people from different backgrounds and industries can provide insights that challenge and expand your thinking. This diversity not only enriches your personal experience, 
but also enhances your creative problem-solving skills by exposing you to a wide range of viewpoints and solutions. A well-cultivated network acts like a garden, providing the necessary nutrients and environment for growth. As you expand your connections and deepen these relationships, you'll find that not only do your opportunities for personal and professional development increase, but you also become a cornerstone in the development of others. Chapter 6. Mastering the Art of Adaptability Adaptability is a crucial skill for anyone looking to break free from their comfort zone and embrace growth. It is the ability to adjust to new conditions, overcome challenges, and leverage opportunities with ease and efficiency. This chapter delves into how you can cultivate adaptability to thrive in various situations and environments. The Essence of Adaptability Being adaptable does not simply mean being willing to change. It means actively pursuing new experiences, learning from them, and applying the knowledge to overcome future obstacles. It involves a combination of flexibility, curiosity, and resilience, qualities that allow you to navigate the uncertainties of stepping out of your comfort zone. Flexibility, the core of adaptability. Flexibility is about letting go of the one right way mindset and embracing multiple pathways to success. It means being open to change and willing to modify your plans in response to new information or changing circumstances. Curiosity, the fuel for learning. Curiosity drives you to ask questions, seek new information, and explore unfamiliar situations. It propels you forward and keeps you engaged in the learning process, making adaptability not just a necessity, but a natural way of being. Resilience, the reinforcement. We've discussed resilience in the context of facing challenges, but it also supports adaptability by allowing you to bounce back from setbacks quickly, keeping you on the path of exploration and growth. Strategies to enhance adaptability. To develop adaptability, Integrate the following strategies into your daily life and mindset. 1. Challenge your assumptions. Regularly. Questioning and testing your assumptions helps break down barriers to adaptability. When you challenge what you believe to be true, you open up to new perspectives and opportunities. 2. Embrace learning opportunities. Seek out situations where you can learn new skills or deepen your knowledge. Whether through formal education, workshops, or self-directed learning, expanding your skill set is essential for adaptability. 3. Practice problem solving. Regularly put yourself in situations where you need to solve problems, especially those that are outside of your usual domain. This practice enhances your ability to think on your feet and adapt to new challenges. 4. Stay updated with industry trends. In a fast-paced world, being knowledgeable about the latest trends and shifts in your industry can give you an edge. It allows you to anticipate changes and adapt your strategies accordingly. 5. Cultivate a positive attitude towards change. View change as an opportunity rather than a threat. A positive attitude helps reduce anxiety associated with the unknown and fosters a more adaptable mindset. Real-Life Application of Adaptability Imagine you're leading a project that suddenly shifts direction due to market changes. An adaptable leader would quickly assess the new situation, gather input from their team, and steer the project toward the new objectives, learning from the process, and applying insights in real time. Building a culture of adaptability. If you're in a leadership position, encourage a culture of adaptability within your team or organization. This can be done by promoting a continuous learning environment, rewarding innovative ideas, and supporting employees through transitions. Adaptability not only prepares you to handle the inevitable changes life throws your way, but also positions you to seize opportunities that others might miss due to their resistance to change. As you cultivate this skill, you will find yourself more capable and confident in the face of uncertainty. Chapter 7. Establishing a Mindset for Continuous Improvement Continuous improvement is the ongoing effort to enhance your abilities, processes, and outcomes. It's a key component of a fulfilling and impactful life, enabling you to constantly refine your approach and reach higher levels of success and satisfaction. This chapter focuses on cultivating a mindset that prioritizes and thrives on continuous improvement. Embracing Lifelong Learning Lifelong learning is at the heart of continuous improvement. 
It's about maintaining a curious and open mindset, always ready to absorb new knowledge and skills. This approach not only keeps you relevant in your professional field, but also enriches your personal life. Benefits of Lifelong Learning Professional Advancement Regularly updating and expanding your skills can lead to new job opportunities, promotions, and the ability to lead more effectively. Personal Satisfaction Learning new things can be deeply satisfying, providing a sense of achievement and keeping you mentally active and engaged. Adaptability As discussed previously, continuous learning helps you adapt more easily to changes and challenges. How to Foster Lifelong Learning Set Learning Goals Establish clear, specific learning objectives that motivate you and provide direction. Utilize online resources. Take advantage of online courses, webinars, and tutorials to learn new skills at your own pace. Read regularly. Keep abreast of the latest developments in your field and related interests through books, journals, and reputable online publications. Join learning communities. Engage with others who are committed to personal and professional growth. This can provide motivation and support, as well as opportunities for networking and collaboration. Prioritizing Feedback Feedback is a powerful tool for continuous improvement, providing insights into your performance and highlighting areas for growth. However, receiving and acting on feedback can be challenging, especially if it is critical. Tips for Receiving Feedback Effectively Listen actively. When receiving feedback, Listen carefully without interrupting or getting defensive. Try to understand the perspective of the person providing the feedback. Ask clarifying questions. If something isn't clear, ask questions to deepen your understanding of the feedback. Decide what to implement. Not all feedback will be useful or applicable. Evaluate feedback critically and decide which aspects you will act on to improve. Providing constructive feedback. Similarly, Learning to give constructive feedback is essential for helping others grow and maintaining healthy, productive relationships. Be specific and objective. Focus on specific behaviors and events, not on the person's character. Use a positive tone. Frame feedback in a positive, supportive manner, emphasizing the potential for growth. Offer suggestions. Whenever possible, provide suggestions for how the person can improve, rather than just pointing out flaws. Developing a Culture of Improvement Whether you are leading a team or working independently, fostering a culture of continuous improvement can enhance productivity and morale. Strategies to encourage improvement lead by example. Demonstrate your commitment to learning and improvement. Reward progress. Acknowledge and reward efforts to learn and improve, even if they don't always lead to immediate success. Encourage experimentation. Create a safe space for experimenting with new ideas and methods, where failures are seen as learning opportunities. Embracing a mindset of continuous improvement involves being proactive about your growth, open to feedback, and committed to learning. This mindset not only leads to personal and professional development, but also inspires others to pursue their own paths of improvement. Chapter 8. Leveraging Time Management for Maximum Efficiency Effective time management is a critical skill that enables you to maximize your productivity and achieve your goals while maintaining a balanced life. It involves planning and controlling how much time to spend on specific activities. This chapter will provide you with strategies to master your time, helping you step out of your comfort zone more efficiently. Understanding the value of time time is a unique resource. It is non-renewable and non-recoverable. Once spent, it cannot be regained which makes it more valuable than money. To manage time effectively, you need to recognize its value and learn to allocate it judiciously to activities that align with your goals and promote your growth. Conduct a time audit. Start by tracking how you spend your time for a week. Identify activities that consume your time but do not contribute to your goals. This can include excessive social media use, unnecessary meetings, or procrastination. Understanding where your time goes is the first step in taking control of your schedule. Prioritization. The key to effective time management. The Eisenhower Box. Utilize the Eisenhower Box, also known as the Eisenhower Matrix, to prioritize tasks based on their urgency and importance. This method divides tasks into four categories, urgent and important, 
Tasks you will do immediately. Important, but not urgent. Tasks you will schedule to do later. Urgent, but not important. Tasks you will delegate to someone else. Neither urgent nor important. Tasks you will eliminate. The Pareto Principle, also known as the 80 20th Rule. The Pareto Principle states that 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. Identify the 20% of your tasks that contribute to 80% of your results and focus more on those tasks. This can significantly enhance your productivity and efficiency. Tools and techniques for time management setting. Smart goals. Ensure your goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. Smart goals provide clarity and a deadline for completion, which helps in planning and executing tasks more effectively. Using technology, wisely. Leverage technology to save time. Use apps and tools for task management, scheduling, and reminders. Tools like Trello, Asana, or Google Calendar can help keep your tasks organized and your time optimized. Time blocking. Allocate specific blocks of time to different tasks or activities. This technique helps minimize distractions and ensures that you spend focused time on high-priority tasks. It also helps in maintaining a clear boundary between work and personal time, which is essential for a balanced life. Managing distractions and procrastination. Distractions and procrastination are major time wasters. Create an environment that minimizes distractions, such as a tidy workspace, and use techniques like the Pomodoro Technique where you work for 25 minutes followed by a 5-minute break. This can help maintain concentration and prevent burnout. Developing Self-Discipline Self-discipline is essential for effective time management. Strengthen your self-discipline by setting clear rules for how you spend your time and sticking to them, even when it's tempting to deviate. Time Management in Practice Imagine you're working on launching a new product a task that requires creativity, collaboration, and strategic planning. By applying these time management techniques, you can allocate adequate time for brainstorming sessions, feedback meetings, and solo work, ensuring that each phase of the project receives the attention it needs without overwhelming you. Mastering time management allows you to make the most of every day, propelling you toward your goals at an accelerated pace while ensuring you maintain control over your work and personal life. This skill is indispensable for anyone looking to expand their horizons beyond the familiar and comfortable. Chapter 9. Sustaining Health and Energy for Peak Performance Maintaining high levels of health and energy is crucial for anyone aiming to maximize their potential and maintain productivity. Your body and mind are the tools you use to interact with and change the world. Keeping them in optimal condition is essential. This chapter will focus on practical strategies to enhance your physical and mental well-being, ensuring you are always ready to tackle new challenges. The Foundation of Physical Health Physical health provides the energy and stamina required to pursue and achieve your goals. A strong, healthy body supports a sharp mind, enabling you to perform at your best. Regular exercise exercise is not just about maintaining physical fitness. It also boosts your mental health. Regular physical activity increases endorphins, enhances sleep quality, and reduces stress. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week. Whether it's a brisk walk, a run, or a session at the gym, find an activity you enjoy and make it a part of your routine. Balanced Nutrition Eating a balanced diet is crucial for maintaining energy levels throughout the day. Focus on foods rich in nutrients, such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Avoid excessive amounts of caffeine and sugar, which can lead to energy crashes. Consider consulting with a nutritionist to create a meal plan that aligns with your energy needs and goals. Adequate sleep. Sleep is often the first sacrifice when schedules become packed. However, adequate sleep is critical for cognitive function, mood regulation, and overall health. Most adults need between 7, 9 hours of sleep per night. Establish a regular sleep schedule and create a bedtime routine that promotes relaxation, such as reading or meditating before bed. Mental and Emotional Well-Being Your mental and emotional health directly affects how effectively you can work and cope with stress. Maintaining a healthy mental state allows you to think clearly and respond calmly to challenges.
Stress Management Effective stress management is vital. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga can help manage stress levels. Additionally, don't underestimate the power of leisure and relaxation. Time spent doing nothing or enjoying hobbies can significantly reduce stress and restore your mental clarity. Building Mental Resilience Mental resilience can be strengthened through practices like cognitive restructuring, which involves changing negative thought patterns into more positive ones. Regularly practicing gratitude can also improve your emotional resilience by shifting your focus from what's lacking to what's abundant. Emotional Intelligence Developing emotional intelligence involves understanding and managing your own emotions and empathizing with others. This skill can enhance your relationships and increase your overall psychological flexibility, making you better equipped to handle interpersonal challenges and setbacks. Holistic Approaches to Health Consider integrating holistic health practices into your routine. Activities like acupuncture, massage therapy, or even aromatherapy can improve overall well-being and help maintain a balance between work and life. Practical Application Imagine you are preparing for a critical phase in a project. By maintaining high levels of health and energy, you can ensure that you are physically and mentally prepared to meet deadlines solve problems, and lead your team effectively. Regular breaks, balanced meals, and scheduled downtime are not just good for your health. They enhance your overall productivity and creativity. Keeping your health and energy optimized is a continuous commitment that requires you to be mindful of your daily habits and choices. As you implement these strategies, you'll find that not only does your capacity for work increase, but your overall quality of life improves. Chapter 10 Creating and Maintaining Successful Routines Establishing routines that bolster productivity and well-being is fundamental for anyone looking to excel and achieve their goals efficiently. A well-structured routine can reduce decision fatigue, streamline your day, and free up mental energy for more complex tasks. This chapter explores how to develop and stick to routines that propel you toward success. The power of routine routines provides structure and predictability which can significantly reduce stress and anxiety. By knowing what to expect and when to expect it, you can manage your time more effectively and focus more deeply on the task at hand. Efficiency Through habituation When actions become habitual, they require less mental effort, allowing you to perform tasks quickly and efficiently. This habituation frees up cognitive resources for higher-order thinking and creative problem solving, enhancing your productivity and performance. Consistency leads to mastery. Consistent practice is key to mastery. By integrating important tasks into your daily routine, you ensure regular progress and skill improvement, which are essential for personal and professional growth. Building effective routines. To build a routine that truly enhances your life, you must consider both your personal and professional goals. Here's how to start. 1. Assess your current habits. Identify habits that contribute to or detract from your goals. This assessment will help you understand what to enhance, change, or eliminate. 2. Design your ideal day map out what an ideal day would look like. Align this with your goals, ensuring that you have time allocated for key activities that move you towards your objectives. 3. Start small. Begin by changing or establishing one or two small habits that will have the most immediate impact. Success in these areas will provide motivation to adjust more significant parts of your routine. 4. Set triggers. Use triggers to prompt specific actions in your routine. For example, after brushing your teeth in the morning, immediately meditate for five minutes. These triggers help cement new habits. 5. Be realistic and flexible. Life is unpredictable. While consistency is important, your routine should also have the flexibility to adapt to changes. Set realistic expectations and be prepared to modify your routine as necessary. The role of technology in routines. Leverage technology to support your routines. Use apps for task management, scheduling, and habit tracking. Tools like these can remind you of tasks, track progress, and even provide analytics on your efficiency and productivity. The importance of review and adjustment. 
Regularly review your routines to ensure they still serve your goals effectively. As your priorities and goals evolve, your routines should adapt accordingly. Quarterly Reviews Perform a thorough review of your routines every quarter. Ask yourself what's working, what isn't, and what could be improved. Make adjustments based on your current goals and the effectiveness of each routine. Applying Routines for Long-Term Success Imagine you are working toward a significant career milestone, such as a promotion or launching a new business. Your daily routine might include specific times for skill development, networking, strategy planning, and personal health. Each element of your routine should serve a specific purpose, contributing to your larger objective. As you refine your routines, you will notice not only an increase in productivity, but also an improvement in your overall well-being. Effective routines help you manage your energy, focus your attention where it's most needed, and achieve your goals with greater ease and less stress. Chapter 11. Advancing Through Goal Setting and Accountability Effective goal setting and robust accountability mechanisms are critical for anyone striving to achieve and surpass their objectives. This chapter examines how to set strategic goals and establish accountability structures that ensure you stay on track and make consistent progress. Strategic Goal Setting The process of setting goals should be a thoughtful and strategic exercise. Goals are not just aspirations, but specific targets that guide your actions and decisions. SMART Goals Revisited We have touched on SMART goals, but it is worth revisiting them with a deeper focus. Ensure your goals are specific, clear and well-defined, measurable, quantifiable to track progress, achievable, realistically attainable, relevant, aligned with broader life and career objectives, time-bound, having a deadline to foster urgency, break goals down into actionable steps. Large goals can be overwhelming. Break them down into smaller, manageable tasks that can be tackled on a daily or weekly basis. This breakdown makes progress measurable and less daunting, and it provides a clear roadmap to follow. Prioritize goals. Not all goals carry the same weight. Prioritize your goals based on their relevance and impact on your life and career. Focusing on too many goals at once can dilute your efforts, so concentrate on a few that will make the most significant difference. Establishing accountability. While setting goals is crucial, accountability is what drives you to follow through on them. Without accountability, goals are easy to neglect or abandon. Personal accountability. Hold yourself accountable through self-reflection and regular check-ins on your progress. Keep a journal or log where you record your daily or weekly achievements and reflections on what's working and what isn't. Peer accountability. Involving a trusted friend, colleague, or coach can significantly enhance your accountability. Schedule regular meetings to discuss progress, challenges, and next steps. Choose someone who is not afraid to challenge you and who genuinely wants to see you succeed. Public commitment. Sometimes declaring your goals to a wider audience can provide a powerful motivator. Use your social media platforms, blog, or community groups to share your objectives and updates. Public commitments can increase your sense of responsibility to follow through. Utilizing feedback effectively. Feedback is a vital part of the goal setting and accountability process. It provides external perspectives on your progress and insights that can refine your approach. Seek constructive criticism. Actively seek feedback from mentors, peers, and professionals in your field. Ask specific questions that invite constructive criticism, such as, what could I improve? Or, what would you do differently? Responding to feedback. When you receive feedback, listen attentively and keep an open mind. Evaluate the feedback critically and decide how to incorporate it into your action plans. Remember, not all feedback will be useful, but it is important to consider it thoughtfully. Using technology and tools for goal achievement. Leverage technology to keep your goals visible and trackable. Use project management tools, apps that track habits and productivity, or digital calendars to keep your deadlines and priorities in clear view. Practical Application Suppose your goal is to enhance your leadership skills. You might set a specific goal to complete a leadership workshop, find a mentor, 
and lead a project within the next six months. Each component can be broken down further into actionable steps with clear timelines and accountability checks. Chapter 12. Enhancing Communication Skills for Personal and Professional Growth Effective communication is a cornerstone of success in both personal and professional spheres. It involves more than just exchanging information. It's about understanding the emotion and intentions behind the information. As you strive to exit your comfort zone and engage with new challenges, refining your communication skills becomes essential. This chapter focuses on strategies to enhance your ability to communicate clearly and effectively, ensuring you convey your ideas persuasively and listen to others attentively. Understanding the layers of communication. Communication is multi-layered, involving verbal, nonverbal, and written elements. Each layer plays a vital role in how your message is perceived. Verbal communication. This includes not only the words you choose, but also your tone of voice, which can often convey more about your intentions than the words themselves. Practice using a tone that matches your message and is appropriate for your audience. Nonverbal communication. Body language, facial expressions, and eye contact are powerful nonverbal cues that can support or undermine your spoken words. Being aware of your own body language and reading that of others can enhance understanding and engagement in conversations. Written communication. In our digital age, written communication via emails, texts, and social media plays a crucial role. It's important to be clear and concise in writing, using proper grammar and structure to ensure your message is understood as intended. Strategies for Improving Communication Skills Active Listening Active listening involves fully concentrating on what is being said rather than just passively hearing the message. This skill allows you to understand information completely and respond thoughtfully. Techniques for active listening include nodding, using small verbal comments like yes, and repeating back what you've heard to confirm understanding. Empathy Empathy involves seeing the world from another's point of view. It enhances communication by helping you understand where the other person is coming from, which can diffuse conflicts and improve relationships. Clarity and conciseness. Whether speaking or writing, getting your point across clearly without unnecessary jargon or complexity is crucial. Practice distilling your messages to their simplest form without losing the essential meaning. Feedback. Asking for and giving feedback effectively is a vital communication skill. It helps you learn how your communication is perceived and adjust accordingly. Practice makes perfect. To develop your communication skills, you must practice regularly. This can be done through role-playing. Engage in role-playing exercises with a colleague or friend to practice handling difficult conversations, giving feedback, or conducting meetings. Public speaking. Join a club or take a class that encourages public speaking. Regular practice in a supportive environment can significantly enhance your verbal communication skills. Writing workshops. Participate in workshops or courses that focus on writing. These can provide valuable feedback and tips for improving your written communication. Applying communication skills. Imagine you are tasked with leading a project that involves multiple stakeholders. Effective communication ensures that everyone's views are considered and their contributions are aligned with the project goals. Regular updates, clear directives, and open channels for feedback can make the difference between success and failure. As you refine your communication abilities, you will find that your confidence and competence in personal and professional interactions improve. These skills are essential for leadership, negotiation, and conflict resolution and they empower you to express yourself more effectively and forge stronger relationships. Chapter 13. Deepening Emotional Intelligence for Leadership and Relationship Building Emotional Intelligence, EI, is the ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions as well as to recognize, understand, and influence the emotions of others. In this chapter, we delve into the importance of emotional intelligence in leadership and relationship building and provide strategies to enhance your EI for greater personal and professional success. The Components of Emotional Intelligence Emotional intelligence comprises several key skills which are self-awareness. 
This is the ability to recognize and understand your own moods and motivations and their effect on others. Self-awareness allows you to know your strengths and weaknesses and how your actions affect others. Self-regulation. This involves controlling or redirecting your disruptive emotions and impulses and adapting to changing circumstances. Self-regulation prevents you from making impulsive decisions or engaging in harmful behavior. Motivation. People with high EI are usually motivated by things beyond external rewards like fame, money, or recognition. They are passionate about their pursuits, pursue goals with energy and persistence, and possess an inner vision of what is important to them. Empathy. Empathy is the ability to understand the emotional makeup of other people. It involves understanding others' feelings and perspectives, and using that understanding to guide your actions. This skill is crucial for leaders and professionals who need to manage diverse teams and client relationships. Social skills. Social skills in EI refer to managing relationships to move people in desired directions, whether that's leading a team, negotiating deals, managing a conflict, or building networks. It encompasses a wide range of skills, from persuasion and networking to teamwork and collaboration. Enhancing your emotional intelligence. Improving your EI can have a profound impact on your ability to lead and build relationships. Here are some strategies to enhance your emotional intelligence. Reflect on your emotions. Spend time identifying what you feel and why. This practice can help you understand your emotional triggers and the impact of your emotional responses on your decisions and actions. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation or practices can improve your ability to control your focus and emotions, enhancing your self-awareness and self-regulation skills. Respond. Don't react. When emotions run high, learn to pause before responding. This break can give you the time to manage your emotions and respond in a more considered way, enhancing outcomes in complex interpersonal situations. Seek feedback. Regular feedback on your behavior from people you trust can provide new perspectives on how you interact with others, highlighting areas for improvement. Observe others. Watch how successful leaders manage their emotions and interact with others. Observing and modeling their behavior can provide practical examples of how to apply EI skills in different situations. Applying emotional intelligence in real-life scenarios. Consider a situation where you need to lead a team through a stressful project. By using emotional intelligence, you can recognize your own stress and manage it effectively, understand and empathize with your team's stress and motivations, communicate effectively, ensuring everyone feels heard and valued. Motivate your team, keeping them focused and engaged. Manage relationships effectively, ensuring smooth collaboration. As you become more adept at using emotional intelligence in your daily interactions, you will find that you are not only a better leader, but also a more influential and respected member of any group. This will open new doors for professional advancement and personal satisfaction. Chapter 14. Synthesizing Skills for Sustained Success as we reach the culmination of our exploration into stepping out of the comfort zone and embracing growth, it is crucial to synthesize the skills and insights we've discussed into a coherent strategy for sustained success. This final chapter provides a comprehensive approach to integrating your newfound skills into both your personal and professional life, ensuring you can maintain momentum and continue to grow. Creating a Personal Growth Plan a personal growth plan is a structured approach to identifying your goals and the skills you need to achieve them. It serves as a roadmap, guiding your development efforts and helping you stay focused and motivated. Set clear, long-term goals. Begin by defining clear, long-term objectives that are aligned with your values and aspirations. Whether these goals are career-oriented, personal, or a combination of both, they should challenge you to move beyond your current limitations. Identify necessary skills and knowledge. Determine the skills and knowledge required to achieve your goals. This could include technical skills, leadership abilities, or emotional intelligence. Prioritize these skills based on which will have the most immediate impact on your progress. Develop a timeline. Create a realistic timeline for achieving your goals, with milestones to mark progress. This timeline should be flexible enough to accommodate changes and setbacks 
but structured enough to provide clear deadlines. Leveraging your network. Your network of mentors, peers, and protégés is a valuable resource for sustained growth. Regularly engage with your network to gain insights, seek feedback, and offer your support to others. This reciprocal relationship not only accelerates your growth, but also enriches your professional and personal life. Seek ongoing feedback. Use your network to obtain honest feedback on your progress. This feedback can provide you with critical insights into your strengths and areas for improvement. Mentor others. Mentoring others can reinforce your own skills and provide new perspectives on challenges and solutions. It also enhances your leadership and communication skills, key components of sustained success. Maintaining adaptability. In a rapidly changing world, adaptability is more crucial than ever. Continuously update your skills and knowledge to stay relevant. Stay informed about industry trends, technological advancements, and shifts in the global economy to anticipate changes and adapt your strategies accordingly. Continuous learning. Commit to lifelong learning by regularly participating in workshops, courses, and seminars. This commitment not only enhances your skill set, but also keeps you intellectually stimulated and professionally competitive. Embrace change. View change as an opportunity rather than a threat. Adapt your goals and methods as needed to navigate new realities effectively. Building resilience resilience will help you manage setbacks and challenges without losing momentum. Develop resilience by maintaining a positive outlook, managing stress effectively, and viewing failures as learning opportunities. Cultivate a positive mindset. Focus on the opportunities presented by challenges rather than the obstacles. This positive mindset will help you maintain motivation and persistence in the face of adversity. Manage stress. Use stress management techniques such as mindfulness, exercise, and relaxation to keep your stress levels under control. This will help you think more clearly and make better decisions. Bringing it all together. Synthesizing these skills into a coherent framework involves regular self-reflection, continuous improvement, and an unwavering commitment to your goals. Keep your objectives in sight and use each day as an opportunity to move closer to them. As you implement this comprehensive strategy, you will find that not only are you better equipped to achieve your current goals, but you are also better prepared to identify and seize new opportunities. This proactive approach to personal and professional development ensures that you can enjoy sustained success and a fulfilling life.